For our project, we will explore the physics in baseball. In baseball, there are principles in physics that account for how balls are hit. If you wanted why balls are hit so far, we can use the formula force equals mass times acceleration. With this implemented, batters would like to use or choose the heaviest bat that they can swing as hard as they can to produce the maximum amount of force. The amount of swing weight also plays a factor on the distance of the ball or the inertia that is in place. Have you ever wondered why if you swing a wooden bat and a metal bat in the same weight and length, why do they not go the same distance? It's because a metal bat has a trampoline effect on the ball. When the ball is impacted with the bat, the metal or aluminum is compressed uh, so that the ball compressed with the ball and this causes a spring which will come off the bat harder than when the ball came into the bat. Physics of pitching. In our body, we all possess, to some extent, elastic energy. Some more than others, especially those who can throw 90, 95, or even 100 in the highest level of arms. Um, in their body, this is called elastic potential energy. Um, the pitcher begins their motion of, quote-unquote, winding up by lifting their leg and loading their arm spiral, creating a slingshot-type motion with their arm and explosively releasing the ball. This is a chart kind of showing the chain, and this is a slingshot to, like show how winding up results in velocity. So the kinetic chain. What separates a lot of high level pitchers in the, is the extreme external rotation of the shoulder, allowing for more elastic energy. Working like a spring, the smart, or working like a spring. The smart way of saying uh, the pitchers wind up is se sequential summation of movement, meaning moving from the larger body parts to the smaller ones moving from the legs all the way up to the kinetic chain to the hand and releasing the ball. Often, velocity is created from the legs up, meaning the more force we put into the ground by the pitcher means more velocity on the ball. Um, the quicker we can create force in the short time equals velocity as shown in the graph. Um, and also, the better you transfer up the like energy up the kinetic chain also results in more uh, velocity. So down here is kind of the kinetic chain saying working up. And here we have a graph force going down in time. So the quicker we can create force in a short amount of time, more velocity. Overall, in summary, pitching is all physics. The pitch starts from the ground up, from the legs all the way up to the fingertips, using elastic energy in our muscles to produce this force in a very short window of time. I could write on and on about the biomechanics of the uh, mechanics of pitching or simply why does a pitch move the way it does, like the seam shifted wake theory but I thought this generally summed up how physics applies to throwing.